basically I came to the college because I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was in high school. And uh, I couldn't see going to a four-year school and paying five, six, seven thousand dollars a year for not knowing what to do. I think it's been really good for me because I didn't know what I wanted to do until just recently. And it was silly to go away to school without knowing because then you'd waste a lot of money and a lot of time without really understanding why you were there. You meet a lot of nice people around here. The teachers really seem to care. I like that. I wouldn't want to be stuck in a classroom with about 400 other people and the teacher only knows you by a number. I think it's an easier transition from going straight from high school to a university. Some of my teachers I've really enjoyed a lot. I've become friends with them. If you take the time to get to know your teacher, they'll take the time to get to know you too. My background in math and physics as compared to a lot of my classmates at U of I was as good or better due to the classes I had taken at CLC. I certainly had more fun at CLC than I did at U of I. I think if I had started it uh, right off at the University of Illinois rather than coming to CLC first, uh, I would have had a lot more trouble. I don't think I would have been prepared for the classes they had there. The faculty at CLC is here because they want to be. They're a bright bunch of people, but they're here because they want to teach. Um, that's one reason that I chose a community college, and that's one reason I think most of them did. Uh, at four-year schools, sometimes the goal is kind of to get out of as much teaching as you can. Uh, if you're here, it's because you really enjoy teaching, and that's what you want to do most. And you can see it. I try and establish a relationship of knowing the student's first name within the first couple of weeks of class. We really work hard at establishing kind of a relationship that says, uh, you belong here, we need you, uh, we'd like to become your friend. And at the end of the semester, oftentimes student and instructor walk away with a very strong friendship, as well as me having learned a lot from them, and hopefully I've conveyed something to them also. In graduate school, I had done some research in nuclear spectroscopy. And uh, I thought that I might possibly be interested in research at, at the time. But then it only took about a year being out of, out of teaching after going to graduate school that I decided I, I want to teach. At the university level, in the first two years, you don't see a class being taught by a professor. Uh, those classes uh, are taught primarily by teaching assistants or their video kinds of courses where they set up a TV monitor in front of the, uh, of the class, of a class of three, four hundred people in a large auditorium. And that's the kind of instruction that the students get. Here I think that they're being taught by people who are experts in their field and people who really are in the, in the field because they want to teach. That's, that's the major reason that I'm here. I, I could be teaching at a university, but I chose to teach at the community college level because I really enjoy teaching. I think you have a, a, a really close bond with the, with the students in this kind of a setting. And that bond is important to me. If you sit there and say, what's going to be the thing that's going to do the absolute best for this student, you're going to say, well, a class where there's a lot of contact, a uh, place where there's a lot of support services for the student. Uh, you know, I can say to any student, you know, you are a terrific student, but you're sure having problems taking these tests. Let's get you over to the Learning Assistance Center where Marlene Ansbach is going to work with you for an hour, two hours, six hours, whatever you need, and help you on taking the kind of tests we have in here. And I know that that's not going to get lost in the shuffle somewhere. Marlene's going to see that student, and they, they get better. There's no question about it. I can see it in test performance. The College of Lake County has one of the finest athletic programs in the country for uh, junior colleges. This past year, we had five Skyway Conference champions four-year colleges tend to lean towards CLC because of that when they come down to their recruiting. There are 10 or 11 different intercollegiate sports, both men's and women's. Uh, they play a lot on campus and all the facilities as well as travel to other schools. At the same time, there are literary arts clubs, there are jazz ensembles. Theater is incredibly more dynamic in the past few years than it was five, ten years ago. 
and has as many participants from the community as it has student participants. There are people who think of themselves as acting students and participate in drama and theater productions, and there are people who consider them, themselves physics students, math students, who enjoy acting. Most people don't realize that at the College of Lake County, we offer training in automated industrial center curriculum, such as CAD and CAM. We are able to train students in computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing. We can take a student from designing a part and let them go all the way through manufacturing that part on high-tech automated equipment. This training is not available elsewhere in the Lake County area, and certainly our institution is one of very few in the nation that has this quality of equipment. The college has what are called articulation agreements with many public and private institutions in Illinois. These are senior level institutions which guarantee that if a student earns the Associate of Arts or the Associate of Science from CLC, they'll be able to enter the transfer college as a junior having successfully completed all of that institution's general education requirements. This enables the student to start in their major without any loss of credit once they complete the transfer process. The college takes a student, helps them to assess what their current skill level is, and go from that point to the end and making sure that it's a successful end. At times there's the perception that our students uh, don't do as well or the, the quality of the programs here, the instruction is not of the same quality as what you might encounter at a university. Fairly consistently, our students perform better than students who start at the university. Uh, it's hard fully to explain that difference. Uh, partially, my belief is that there's better instruction. There's smaller classes. Uh, there's much more of an intense uh, involvement with the student. But time after time, it's, uh, we have ample data to show that they do better coming from CLC than they would have if they had started at the university. Frequently, I have students come back and talk to me and say, I'm sure glad I decided to come to CLC. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. My parents said, you gotta go here because we can afford to send you to CLC. But that's not why I stayed. I stayed because I liked it. I, I met a lot of people who cared about me. I met a lot of teachers who showed an interest in me. And for the first time in my life, I really succeeded in school. It's not the place that you come just because it's the only choice that you have. But in reality, it is the best choice. For many students, CLC is the solution. So 